Once again, a replay of uh, video of the uh, descent of the Soyuz TMA-15M spacecraft uh, that brought Terry Wirtz, Samantha Cristoforetti, and Anton Shkaplerov home to an on-time landing at 8.44 a.m. Central Time. Just about copters uh, flying uh, in the foreground uh, with the Soyuz behind it. Just a few clouds in the area. Conditions very good. Temperatures in the mid 80s. And there's uh, the landing site. 43 minutes ago, uh, the crew was quickly extracted uh, from the spacecraft, the descent module that landed upright. And there you see the soft landing engines firing just a second or two before touchdown. Spectacular view from a video shot from one of the search and recovery helicopters uh, in the vicinity of the landing zone. Everything went by the book uh, with the landing itself uh, from the time Once again, uh, touchdown occurring at 8.44 a.m. Central Time, 7.44 p.m. in Kazakhstan. The search and recovery helicopters now will begin to land in sequential fashion. You can see uh, the helicopters uh, now making their way, uh, hovering around in a racetrack pattern around the spacecraft. The first order of business, uh, the initial uh, helicopter uh, will be... Uh, equipped uh, with the uh, personnel that will deploy the inflatable medical tent nearby uh, that uh, the uh, crew members will be brought into after they're extracted from the spacecraft. And uh, once they have an opportunity to be placed in uh, comfortable chairs near their Soyuz vehicle uh, for a quick uh, acclimation back into Earth's gravity. It was a textbook uh, Homecoming uh, so far for the Expedition uh, 43 crew, and you see on the front board at the Mission Control Center in Korolyov at the Russian Flight Control Room, the uh, Cyrillic words, Yest Posatka, the Russian words for they've landed. southeast of the town of Jezkazgan, following a uh, flawless uh, descent back to Earth after it uh, undocked from the International Space Station at 5.20 a.m. Central Time this morning. The uh, search and recovery forces uh, will be making their way now toward uh, the spacecraft uh, to begin the process of extracting the crew, and we'll be standing by for additional information and video uh, from uh, the landing site itself. <laughs> And there you see uh, the Soyuz uh, commander, Anton Shkaplerov, uh, first out of the uh, spacecraft that uh, he uh, commanded uh, to his uh, bullseye touchdown on the steppe of Kazakhstan. The search and recovery forces uh, arrived on scene in their respective helicopters uh, literally within minutes of the touchdown that occurred at 8.44 a.m. Central Time, 7.44 p.m. at the landing site. Uh, we are now about an, just about an hour before uh, sunset, a little bit over an hour before sunset. 
Kaplarov uh, completing his second flight into space with a big thumbs up as he has helped uh, down uh, the uh, slide uh, of that platform. Uh, he'll be placed uh, in a comfortable chair nearby. Kaplarov uh, completing 364 days in space on his two flights. European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti, who spent uh, more time on this uh, first mission of hers than any other female on a single mission in history, 199 days, helped. Uh, out of the uh, Soyuz vehicle and now being placed in uh, her chair next to Anton Shkaplerov. The three uh, will spend a few minutes in those chairs under a setting sun before they're, they're helped into the inflatable medical tent nearby uh, to begin initial medical testing, to uh, doff their Sokol launch and entry suits, and then uh, board helicopters later on for a two-hour flight back to the staging city of Karaganda to the northeast of the landing site. Thumbs up and a smile from NASA astronaut Terry Virts, the Expedition 43 commander, having completed 212 days in space on his two flights. <laughs> 